More cabinet ministers have come out in support of the ruling People's Action Party's youngest candidate, Tin Pei Ling. The 27-year-old business consultant had become the subject of online criticism after she was unveiled as a candidate on Monday. A team with different talents for the next generation of leaders. This, Health Minister Corbyn Wan says, is important for political parties, which means candidates must come from different age groups. Mr. Kaur was speaking on the sidelines of an event and was responding to questions on how netizens had criticized People's Action Party candidate Tin Pei Ling. The minister said younger candidates like Miss Tin and 33-year-old lawyer Vikram Nair will naturally be less experienced, but their abilities should not be based on just their age. I think it would be wrong of us to be ages, either against old or against young. But I think look at the candidates in their own right. So every age group ought to be represented. So I think judge them based on what you think they can do for you. And I believe uh, 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 Paling and Vikram and some other new candidates who will be announced over the next few weeks can do those jobs extremely well. That's why Information, Communications and the Arts Minister, Liu Tuck Yu, has advised Miss Tin to shut out the noise, focus on the task at hand and prove herself. We ask to be given the opportunity to prove ourselves and I hope and I wish her every success that she too is that rare flower that will bloom in the winter of adversity. On Wednesday, Ms. Tin set up a new public Facebook profile which has already attracted some 340 followers so far. She has used the status updates to share her view on policies that affect the elderly and youth. Among the comments posted on her updates, many were supportive. Ms. Tin welcomes the discussion. In fact, she told Channel News Asia that she chose this platform to express her objectives as it enables her to better connect with Singaporeans. As for the online attacks on her, Ms. Tin said she was aware that she would be under public scrutiny before joining the party. But she added that she can deal with the online buzz and stressed that her main priority right now is to work the ground and serve her residents. She's currently understudying Macpherson's incumbent MP Matthias Yao.